What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Red, and I'm the host of the RH3 show. Thank you so much for watching. This episode is, uh, please, Lord, let it be number seven. Number seven of uh, the Mary Mary Alley show. I'm reviewing this episode, so yes, please get right into it with me. Um, and shout out to those who've been watching. Shout out to those who've been tweeting my link. Speaking of link, click the link below in the information bar. I want Mary Mary to be on the show. I want to do them an interview. Um, you know, talk about them. Talk to them. You know, talk about the show. Talk about their lives. See what's going on. See what they're going to, um, their idea and push for the second season. Yes, Mary Mary has been picked up for a second season. So shout out to them. Shout out to the whole Campbell Atkins crew. Shout out to them. Yeah, I'm sitting right here. I'm enjoying my snack. I don't know if you can see these, but my snack for, um, this episode, y'all know. If you follow me on Instagram, inside Mr. Irish, you know I've been tweeting my snacks, but they ain't get to tweet my snack. Um. YouTube, you 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 getting your 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 share. You, you getting the first look of today's snack. Yeah, I'm sorry for eating on camera. It is so rude. But um, these cookies are some walnut chocolate chip. They're the bottom. They're the best. Nestle, Nestle House. Let's get on to the video. Before I go any further, click the like button, share it. Tweet it, comment, do whatever you got to do to let folks know about my Mary Mary reviews. Okay, y'all, I don't have on my glasses, so please, please bear with me because uh, I might not be able to read my handwriting. might not be able to read this paper um, all together, so please bear with me. Um, at the beginning of the episode, um, Erica and Tina begins, they were actually... Uh, well, yeah, they are working on a new song. Why do I have to give y'all that look? The first segment of this review. Not judging at all. I'm going to keep it moving. They are uh, working on a song with Maze. Yes, you heard me. Maze. The rapper turned preacher, turned back to rapper, Mace, Mason Beffa. Yes, um, Harlem Mason Beffa. Um, um, bad boy Mason Beffa. Yes. Um, P. Diddy Mason Beffa. But, um, used to rap with Biggie Mason Beffa. <laughs> yes, they worked with Mason Beffa. Used to work with... Little Kim Mason, but okay, let's move on. Um, oh, uh, yes. Uh, then, uh, da, 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 Tina, they begin to talk about, you know, what they want to do with them, with the group, how they're going to work this album and stuff out, how they're going to work with, you know, both of them being pregnant. Tina talking about she want to, uh, uh, work on it and work on the album and then delay it at her eighth month. Erica is not Tina. Tina is not Erica. But they are working while Erica is still pregnant. Anyway. Tina is, is out of control. I mean, I'm not... I'm, this episode seemed like it was a point the finger type episode. But believe me, it's not. It was It was just how the way it was produced. How the way it was edited, I feel. How the way it was, you know. Today episode look made Tina look like she was the bad guy all the way bad guy but get, but don't get me wrong Tina I love her that's Tina don't nobody know Tina like those actors they don't know her uh... yeah I hit my finger I was watching uh Wendy's after show sorry about that and don't know nobody know don't nobody know Tina like those act meant yeah Tina like the actors family do but and also her husband the glasses wearing dude um but tina from what we see because we don't know her tina is very quick with her mouth 
very quick. Fly, like they say, fly at the mouth. She's very fly at the mouth. And um, she, she is rambling, 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 going on, y'all. They're all in the studio, Fever Studio, um, Warren Studio, and not letting nobody talk or whatever. Tina is just cutting folks off. She she's just running that mouth, and I'm and and again, I love Tina and I love Erica both. But this was excuse me. This is one reason why you know I really didn't you know like Tina at first because she you know she came off as being mean. Hey. But Tina is Tina. Tina is Tina. Next, um, um, their mother said Erica and Tina are going to have to figure everything out. They're going to have to work things out. Um, they're going to have to do something before Mary Mary is disassembled. They go on their way. They can do solo careers, whatever they want to do. They fight like sisters. They're going to have to do what they got to do to get to get it together. They really do. Excuse me. They really do. But, um, um, Alana and Gugu meets up with, uh, Mother Campbell, Miss Sandra Campbell, and that is Warren's mother, I believe, and she's planning Erica's baby shower. They go cake tasting, you know, do whatever, get some things together, because Erica wanted Tina to do it, but she don't, she, she... She liked how she liked how Tina do it, but she don't. You know, I don't know. How, I forgot what she said because I was in and out preparing my snack, eating dinner, whatever. But um, she she rather have Miss Sandra to put it together. So and that's what she did. And I'll tell y'all about that later on if I remember because I don't have it in my notes. But um, uh, Tina she throughout this whole episode, mainly this episode is about Tina and her juggling the career, her juggling um, being a mother, everybody's juggling trying to work with Tina, this and the other, Mary, I mean Mary, Mary Erica and Tina working together and Erica and Tina trying to solve their differences, that's what all this episode is about um, it is, it's, it's something serious, it's something serious you know, Tina, she's having a hard time again, like I said, being a mother being a superstar and she she, she, from what we see, she would rather be a mother. And, 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 and you know what? That's something that she should do. She should put her family first. And I like her about that. I love Tina about that because I'm a family guy. And I'm going to put my wife and my children before anybody. I don't care. I'm married. Let's move on because I'm not preaching. And that's a touchy subject to me. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. She meets with her children and... You know, she, she tell I think her daughter's name is Leia. She talks to her, and she tells her, look, you know, I talked to your teacher. She's saying that you are perfectionist. You, you, you do good, but then you, you work, you, you, you do good, but you, um, you know, you're hard on yourself because you think it's not good. And then she said, you know what, sometimes you're going to have to, you know, just say okay with it. And, and you're going to have to, you know, accept what you've done and say that's good enough. It's okay to be okay. It's okay to be good. And it's okay to be perfect. But just be good. And she, she didn't say those exact words, but there's something close to that. And I like how Tina, she sit down with her children. She discusses her career, her her, her relationship with them and her, and her family. I love Tina about that. She's a family woman, and I love it. I love it. Um... Y'all, Teddy does this commentary with those popular glasses that everybody been wearing that's all over your face. I don't like them. But who who, who am I to say? Um, Erica and Tina go out. They they go to a spa treatment. They, you know, take time out. They wanted to spend time with sisters. But they just end up talking about the differences, whatever. And y'all, from watching this Mary Mary episode, um... Erica and Tina, they are totally two different people. Erica seems like she want the career more than Tina does. And Tina seems like she don't want it. You know, she want it, but, you know, I got a life. I got a life. But, Tina, you, this is your job, baby. This is your bread and butter for your children. So, you know. And then they go to a, see a therapist, and the therapist talks to them. And seeing them with the therapist, you guys... It shows and it comes to tell you, yes, Erica and Tina are both 
two different people. If I was to say who I am out of one of them, whose personality fit my whose personality is kind of mine, I would say, at first, Erica, I would say Erica. But I would say 90% of Tina's personality is mine. I'm quick with it, with my mouth. I love my family dearly. Um, I, I'm a hard, hard worker. But sometimes, you know, it's kind of, you know, that, that that's where that 10% come in from Erica with me that my work is, 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 is there and, and I have to work. But anyway, here's what I, you know, here's what I see that was wrong in that therapist. There, the therapist chef, Erica, want Tina to see, see it like she sees it. You can't have it like that, Erica. I mean, that's just me. I mean, like I said on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, inside Mr. RH3, twitter.com forward slash I N S I D E M R R H and the number three. If you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I said this this episode is kind of a mixed emotion with me. And, uh, you know, I don't know how to take it. I don't know how to take it. But um, the therapist wants them to, um, to for them to, to, them to, to listen to each other and, you know, come together. And I think they did. And I think they did. Then they go around, you know, L.A. looking at their old houses, the grandmother houses, touchy moment. Um, after that, um, I don't really, I think they go to the baby shower. Everybody's at the baby shower. Sean Robinson, Jill Scott, everybody's there. Friends, family, everybody. It's a nice place. Erica's excited. She's happy, you know, how it came out or whatever. And, um... It, it it came out all together, and, and Google, especially Miss uh, Campbell, they did great. They did absolutely great. And um, um, one thing I like, and I know everybody going to be doing that. It's a game that they played. Each table had to write a song, and then they had to sing it. That first group, whoever did theirs, that was hot. I liked it. It was a lullaby. Then Jill Scott was at a table. She was their singer. That table had the most, the best advantage because they had an actual singer and a writer at their table. And, um, you know, Jill Scott sang. I love her song, her group song, and also the first group. But anyway, um, next week, y'all, next week we are back with Mitch and Goo Goo fighting again. They're going to argue about uh, Mitch want a uh, new stylist for the Grammys. Goo Goo not having it. So please check it out next week. If not, stop here at the RH3 show. YouTube.com forward slash I Rep Savior. And check out my Thursday reviews of the Mary Mary show. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash Inside Mr. RH3. And also please follow the show page on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash The RH3 Show. And make sure you click that link below. Make sure you click the link below and tweet that tweet to Mary Mary because I want them on the show around the season finale of this episode. I mean, of this reality series. I want them on there. I want to talk to them. I want y'all to be able to talk, you know, whatever. I might do a blog TV. I might not let it be a surprise. But um, if you want to send me some questions, send it to Mary Mary on rh3 at gmail.com. Or you can tweet it to me at the rh3 show. Uh, do the hashtag Mary Mary on RS3. Know that I love you for real. I know. I hope y'all do. Y'all, I'm getting sleepy. I've been at the hospital uh, Tuesday. I was there for three hours at, in the emergency room getting scans and stuff because I've been having, you know, headaches and, and, and back aches and chest pains and all of that for a uh, long time in the day. I think the chest pains, are still, you know, have subsided a little bit. My back's still been hurting. This head has been giving me, you know what. So I'll be talking to y'all soon. Share this video, like it, thumbs up, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it here on YouTube. I'm out of here, y'all. I got to finish my cookies before I go to bed. Don't tell nobody else. Cause I